Hello Internet, uh, this is the second installment to Computer Repair 101. Uh, I'm filming it with my um, my webcam, so it's going to be looking a little weird. I'm walking around with my, my laptop here. Uh, the second biggest problem people have, other than t their computer not turning on, is that their wireless internet stops working and they can't figure out how to turn it back on, so they have to hook up their computer directly to the router, which is like directly with a cord. So, a way to fix that, almost every single time, this is one thing that, that works almost all the time, is if your wireless internet signal drops, then this is what you should do to fix that problem. I'm going to show you, and I'm going to be talking in the background. So, let's see if I can see this. Um, there is a router and a modem. The difference is the modem is what your cable provider or your internet provider supplies you and your router is what sends out the wireless signal. So what you would do, and I'm just going to give you a, a visual on here, all the cords in the back. What you would want to do, turn off all the computers that are connected to your network. Once those are all off, unplug the router's power, meaning the thing that plugs into the wall socket that gives it electricity, unplug that from the wall, unplug the modem's power cord, which is what powers the modem, wait, plug the modem back in first to the wall, wait until all the lights stop flashing, wait about, I'd say like three minutes is a good average time, once that's done, plug in the router, and then turn on the computer that you were having problems with the internet. This, what that does, is called a power reset, and it resets the internet connection to how it was, because some settings might have gotten screwed up through your computer or something like that. It reassigns the IP address so that you can get high-speed internet again. Basically, it just makes it so that the wireless internet feature works and that you can connect to web pages. Try that. Write me some comments, see if you still have some problems. I'll try to answer them as much as possible. Um, this has been the second installment to Computer Repair 101. Thanks, guys.